back to my channel for part two of my Subnautica series. I'm gonna kick it off here and it's night time already. But that's a oh wow, like a solo clip clips looking thing. But let's jump in and get this thing started. Okay. So I've got a radio message here. Let's have a look at this and see what it says. Signal location. So. Down here, oh, gonna take a lot of damage from that. Just try and look for the outcrop so I can get silver because we get two silver. And, ah, that sounds the thing. So, need one more to make a wiring kit. Can I might get lucky? No, but I'll scan these. Dropping stinger. Roopings thing, I'm sorry. Ah, there's two there. I just don't want to get stung if I can help it. Ah, I got the dodge. Ah, so there, we've got two crush. Ah, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. This way and up. I got 15 seconds of oxygen left. Come on. There we go. I just need to go get one more silver. Get the wiring kit and we get a compass. It'll make it a lot easier. Come on, straight down, straight down. And in. Ah, there it is. Go down, try and get under if I can. Whoa. That's brain core. Hurt. That'll give me oxygen. Keep me going. I haven't scanned the sandstone yet. Let's scan that. Ah, oh, lead. Shame, I need silver. Yay. So that's what I need. So I'm going to get hurt a little bit, so I'm going to, but I'm going to try. Oh, no, 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 that didn't work. There's just too many there to get through. Ah, but I can get some more. Gold comes in handy. Silver. Get out this way. And straight up. The bloody crash wish. They're annoying. Go make our compass. But again, if there's anything any of you want to see from this series or we build anything, just leave it in the comments below and we can get it done. Wiring kits, so we can now go to tools and make a compass, which automatically gets equipped. So now we know roughly which direction to travel in. But for some reason it keeps tilting my life pod and I don't know why. So it's not sitting flat. 
So later on in this game, once I've built a little habitat, which I think we might start building a little base today, habitat, a base, uh, we can then explore a bit more and store the resources down there and eventually build a moon port which will scan everything. So let's have a little look around. Let's head that way. Go see what this has got in store for us. So happy now that lockdown's lifted and ish. So we can all go out and meet each other again. It's nice to actually get out of the house. Pretty sure everyone feels the same. before I go down properly. So it's there. I've got 35% so I need to make another battery soon. Ah, oh, it's a reefy. It's a reef back Leviathan. I haven't scanned this yet so we'll go to it. So it's a living creature that has a reef growing on its back. Reef back. What's that? Oh, it's just a oh, I know, barnacle. Oh, let's break it. Oh, I don't think I got anything from it. Let's scan everything. There you go. So I've wasted half my oxygen in now. Go back get more. I think I called those things sand sharks or sea sharks last time, and they're actually sand sharks. So I'm just going to scan it. Yeah, sand shark. Where is it? Ah, it's right away. But this is my first fragment for the sea moth, which is what I was hoping to try and build this episode. So that is great. Oh, PDA. Life Pod Crew, let's listen to that one. Sand sharks. Lots of quartz and salt around this area, which comes in handy. Oh, quantum detonation. That would be a very good spectacle. So, you want to try and get the seam off as soon as possible as well. Because that automatically refills your oxygen for you. Which is very good. Uh, another fragment. Yay. See, like I said last time, whenever you find one fragment somewhere, you can usually find more of it in the same area, so you can complete your blueprint. So you need three for this one. Oh, there's a wreckage there, but I'm gonna go up and get oxygen first, and then we'll drop back down. There we go. Let's have a look. Let's see what this wreckage has to offer. What's this? Scanner room fragment. Comes in handy for searching for certain items. So, what's in here? Laser cutter. We need that soon. 
once we get a list of different ingredients oh, what's that oh bioreactor that helps with powering our uh, base smell scrap What's in that one? Nothing. I think that's another scanner room fragment. Yeah. Once you've played a little while, you get used to what the different items are. You can just from sight. Scanner room. Uh, Seamoth. Yay. So now we've got everything to build the Seamoth. Well, blueprint sorted. So now I can build that, which I will be doing shortly. We'll have a look what we need. Just see if there's anything else that we can get from down here. No, it doesn't quite look like it. Oh, that's open. Anything inside? No. That's worth a check. Go back out. So there we go. So I can open a PDA. Alright, let's listen to the third one because we didn't listen to that one last time. Two power cells, T two titanium ingot, two power cells, glass, and two lubricant. Because you need to put the mobile vehicle bay, so then you can use that to create the seam off. So I'm going to look for that. So the titanium ingot's easy because you have to just get scrap metal or titanium. So we can get more scrap metal just down where we are now. Lubricant's easy to get as well. It's from the Creepvine C cluster. So we'll grab that. But I knew that there was some more scrap metal down here, so we'll go grab it. And we'll head back and try and grab some Creepvine C clusters as well. Get some more here. So each one of them gives you four titanium. I'm also going to need as much copper as I can find as well. Right that way. I'll start heading back this way. I'm still looking for different resources. I need some glass or so could grab some quartz. Make sure we've got enough. Oh, didn't mean to come in here, but yeah, it works. One more, and we have the laser cutter, which we use to get into different wreckages because they have doors that are sealed, so you can cut a hole in them. How many quartz have I got now? Four, so that's the two glass that I need. Here's the creep vine. So I need two of these, I believe. Two lubricant. Oh, my inventory's full. So, what don't I need from here? I'm going to get rid of these four, because I'm about to get four anyway. Just so I can take one of these. There you go. Scan them anyway. There you go. Pop up. 30 seconds of oxygen. Got more than enough time this time. Just head straight back there, transfer it all. Because at the moment, the creep vine C cluster takes up four inventory slots just to hold it, but then when you turn it into lubricant, it only takes up one slot. So it condenses it down, which is very helpful. 
I've just remembered actually we have the two trunks that are full so I'm actually gonna have a look yeah I'm gonna drop one of these and pick up another creep vine C cluster because we've got the two waterproof lockers that actually are full with titanium and I only need 10 titanium for one iron ingot oh. titanium ingot sorry not iron ingot so there we go oh. so let's have a look there you go lubricant so we have these two sorted already my two glass and not copper wire I can make another one of them I don't want to base turn titanium So how many more titanium do I need? Six, I need four more. So let's just run up here. Get our storage. Just grab four up here. Nice and easy. Oh, one of our storage has fallen off into the water. But that's fine, not an issue. Oh. So now I need power cells because we've got some dead batteries anyway or almost dead I'm going to use them rather than using fresh new batteries so I need I know I have enough for two how much copper do I have so have I got any spare in here yes I have four copper in here as well that's going to come in very handy I'm going to use all of that to make some so I have six now so I need 12 of these acid mushrooms Make some batteries. Might be enough. Let's have a look. Oh, one more. There we go. Swim back up here. Oh, another radio message. Let's have a look at this one. The radio is damaged, so we can't read you. Yes, we do need your assistance. Please help us. <laughs> So what I actually want to do now is check these and see how much power they have. So 5%, I'll change that for a full one. 100%, 78, I'll still change it so they're all full again. But then I want to go in here. So we don't use any of our full batteries. Uh, I'm going to put these in the container to keep them safe. So I do need four, so what are the item do I have? So I've got to use one full battery then. So we can now create two power cells. Now I've got enough to create the seam off. Deployables. Mobile vehicle bay. Let's jump up, dive in, release the vehicle, but that's what I'm trying to do. So you can just drop it and it'll go up. Oh, usually it deploys. Okay, so in that case, we'll sign it to a slot and deploy. So you climb up. 
And when you go on here, it's good. So we have all the items already. So now those little drones go and construct it for us. Now we have a Seamoth. Once I've found enough items for the moon pool and everything like that, we can now name it and change the color and everything. So like I said in the last episode, if any of you want to name this, just leave a comment below uh, and I'll set the name for this Seamoth. I'm just gonna go get some water quickly. Okay. I've got some in my inventory, I think. I got one. But I've got that. I'm gonna f go get some food or fish that I can cook. There's usually a lot around. We can't pick up the rabbit ray. There's usually loads around. Okay, come on. There's a peeper. Peepers are very good. Oh, come on. No, where's the peeper? Oh, it's there. Oh, come on. Why can't I get it? Oh, there you go. Hoverfish, have a look. Another radio transmission. It's always good. Is there any bladder of fish? Quantum destination appearance. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Let's get on top and let's have a look. There it is. Let's climb in, cook some of this food. So we now need to make that, so if you go close to the Aurora, we will get attacked by the radiation. There we go. Let's have a look, eat these quickly. So let's fill that. Listen to this radio message. LifePod 19 is a very useful one, especially in my last playthrough because I had rubies and uh, another item I can't think of. Is that this gel sack? I think it is. But I'm just going to have a look for some bladder fish. We can get some water. Ah, bladderfish, yes. There's a couple of you here. So we can get 20 water from you. Start of the game is easy with this, but then you want to get the bleach as well, which I think I have some in my storage. Oh. Come on. So where did bladderfish go? Get back in because it stores our oxygen. So it could go down there, but it's 300 meters down. And it, you can see at the top of the screen, this only goes uh, 200 meters down. There we go. Go back to here. How? I don't understand how that got damaged. Back up and running. Good. Let's get some water. There we are nearly full of everything. 
So we'll come back up here. Look at our now exploded Aurora. But alright guys, thank you. I'm gonna leave it there for this episode. But if you'd like to like, subscribe, and leave any comments down below, and if you want to do in the future, and if you want to see, let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.